Hello there, all you beautiful thrill seekers. My name is Ghost Shadow Stubborn, but built for theme parks, and welcome to Ghost Chat YouTube channel. <laughs> Hello there, my name is Ghost Shadow Stubborn, but built for theme park news, and welcome to another theme park newsroom update. This is the third and final news update of today. You can go and check out the first two videos from the London Resort and Six Flags Darien Lake. But this one is on Six Flags Magic Mountain with some brand new permits that have been revealed picture wise and we get to share them here on the channel and we get to see exactly what it confirms. Well, what actually does it confirm? Well, we'll let you know when we show the photos, but you can tell by the title what it confirms. Uh, before we get started though, guys, make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Make sure you comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, click OK so you never miss another thrilling YouTube video. Also, guys, as well as the link to the article, which you can find in the description of the video, you can also find links to submit your video ideas, use the Google Forms link, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and Snapchat, and you can follow the Discord server and be involved with live voice chats in the future. Go and follow the Discord server and be a part of the action. And for now, guys, let's have a look at the permits from Six Flags Magic Mountain. So this article is from Coaster Kings, or The Coaster Kings. Massive shout out to them. Links in the description down below. Now, earlier this year, as reported by them, documents were uncovered on the LA County permitting website that shows plans for a new roller coaster for Six Flags Magic Mountain. The proposed ride, an RMC Raptor slash single rail coaster, would reuse the former Green Lantern Station and use some of the area currently occupied by the Shoot the Shoots ride, Tidal Wave. New permits show that Six Flags Magic Mountain has been granted approval for $1.3 million of foundations for the coaster supports. The original document was found back in April, including the nifty overlay showing the new coaster's layout, and it would reuse the Green Lantern Station and cross over Tidal Wave Splashdown area. The coaster features double out and back layout and would make two turnarounds in the centre of the Metropolis Plaza, which would be quite an iconic eyesight. This new permit shows wording that confirms the project to be a Rocky Mountain construction coaster, with the current timeline permit for being for 2021 or 2022. But I think with, with 2021, even though the season's just started, but Magic Mountain maybe not having a new attraction yet, maybe this is going to be a 2022 ride, especially with Aquaman Power Wave over Texas being delayed till 2022. So I reckon this will be a 2022 coaster, not a 2021. So there we go, Thrill Seekers. That is the news on Six Flags Magic Mountain's permit. It's confirmed it will be an RMC. $1.3 million worth of foundations for the coaster support. And there we go. This pretty much confirms that construction should be underway about halfway through 2021. Um, so I really can't wait for next season already. I know this season's hardly started yet, but I can't wait for next season already with the new Raptor Coaster coming to Magic Mountain uh, next year. Uh, this is going to be brilliant. A wonderful investment for the park. I think when Jersey Devil Coaster first opened at Six Flags, well, when it will open at Six Flags Great Adventure uh, this year, uh, but it was first announced uh, back in 2019, you know, I think we had an idea that Magic Mountain were definitely ahead of the queue by a landslide to get the, the this, this sort of outstretched version of the single rail coaster. We kind of knew that Magic Mountain were next in line after Great Adventure. And, um, you know, this Jersey Devil type layout, this out and back layout with the two turnarounds at the Metropolis Plaza and the out and back layout niftily swim, swerving and, you know, swirling its way around uh, the old Green Lantern Station and the Tidal Wave Splashdown area. Um, I think this is a wonderful investment for the park. I really can't wait to see what they're going to do with this in terms of theming and story and the, the sort of villain or DC character they're going to put with the story of the ride. And uh, I really can't wait for it. So... Thank you very much guys for watching this video from Six Flags Magic Mountain and thank you for watching all of the first videos of 2021, all of the news updates and it's been wonderful filming these, it's been absolutely wonderful um, and it's nice having a brand new setup as well, it's really nice. <laughs> um, the editing will take longer, obviously it will take longer than, ex than usually expected so you know don't expect a video every day, I I I I'm trying to push out a video every day, at least one video every day but if there's not a video on one day don't be you know disheartened it'll be editing it takes a while with the green screening now so oh, oh, green screening what did i say green screen no this is my office um but there we go guys thank you very very much my name is coast shell caitlin the coast life and i'll see you guys next video very very soon take care guys have a wonderful six flags tastic